What is going on, YouTube? Verse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another top five on this glorious top five Friday. And I'm so excited. We are almost through the 90s, folks. So we're talking the top five songs of 1998 this time. A really cool and interesting year in music history. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it at number five. If You Can't Say No by Lenny Kravitz off of his fifth album aptly titled Five. I believe this was the first single released from it and unusual to release this one first since it's such a slow burner, uh, kind of a, a breakup song, if you will, but um, really cool the way there's this pulsing rhythmic kind of computer noise that keeps going throughout the song uh, and it's just kind of there but then he keeps adding different layers starting with this warm electric keyboard and then later adding in clavinet to make it a little more funky and of course the uh, staccato guitars really cool and sultry song uh, Lenny adding, you know, his sexy vibe into this, and uh, I think it's the best song on the album, and that's saying a lot because he had some big hits on this one, like Fly Away and, of course, the American Woman cover, but uh, this, I think, is the best, and that's just my number five. So now, at number four... No Way by Pearl Jam off of their album Yield, which is one of my favorite albums of theirs. It's such a fun record and not a weak track from start to finish. And this one really stands out as a highlight, even though it wasn't even released as a single. It just has this really cool guitar groove that starts it out with this kind of dirty distortion and uh, it just keeps building and going different places especially the bridge is really unusual it almost feels like middle eastern music or something but eddie vetter just saying you know i'm not trying to make a difference really catchy chorus you want to sing along to and as i said a really fun song on this awesomely produced brendan o'brien track uh really great stuff and that is just my number four so now at number three Curly from Radiohead off of their B-Sides EP uh, called Airbag How's My Driving. This is, I think, the best track on there. And there's so many great songs on that EP, man. I, I, it's almost like OK Computer was such an amazing album that they had all this extra stuff, some of the best B-sides in the game. And uh, yeah, this I, it's one of my favorite Radiohead songs, especially to drive to, uh, which goes perfectly with the title of the EP. But man, just the way it starts out with this kind of like weird uh, distorted sound that you can't quite tell if it's a guitar or a keyboard, and then some percussion hits, and then you're just off to the races. It's actually, I think, one of Radiohead's best rockers. And then the way it builds to the ending with Tom doing that falsetto and all the music drops out and then it comes back in with Johnny Greenwood doing this really cool clean guitar over this uh, distorted chaos. It is fantastic and uh, I'm surprised it's only my number three but now at number two. Oh Comley from Neutral Milk Hotel from the great perfect album in the airplane over the sea you know i could have picked so many different songs off of this record the title track two-headed boy the communist daughter uh holland 1945 i mean this whole album is incredible but this i think is the best song on here and it's seven plus minutes of really just jeff mangum uh and an acoustic guitar and you know he's not the greatest singer in the world but it works to his advantage uh throughout this entire album just the passion and the emotion in the song even if you don't know exactly what he's talking about uh, you know, the album is loosely based on the diary of Anne Frank and just like these crazy visions of the Holocaust. And there's some really just dark stuff, especially in this particular song. But it is incredible. And I had the amazing opportunity to witness this live 
in Atlanta at the Tabernacle some years back when they had kind of a reunion tour. We're hoping that they were going to have some more new music that's yet to be seen. But in the meantime, we are loving our In the Airplane Over the Sea. Uh, still one of my favorite albums of all time. And that's just my number two. So now at number one. Anybody Out There by Burlap to Cashmere from their uh, album of the same name, their debut album. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware of this band uh, since they only had one album for many years before they actually came back almost a decade later. Uh, I think they now have three albums to their name and they don't have all the original members, but uh, it's safe to say the uh, songwriting duo uh, that are cousins uh, are just fantastic and the, the songwriting is still intact. And this to me is still their best song, whether you're a Christian or not, because uh, they were kind of trying to get out of that CCM box that they were labeled in, grouped in with other bands like Jars of Clay at the time. Uh, this song is so incredible. The message on top of uh, the musicality, the guitar solo by Johnny Phillips is unreal. And just like Neutral Milk Hotel, I had the honor to see these guys live actually on this tour that they did with Jars of Clay back in, I, I want to say it was 97 or uh, I guess it was 98. Yeah, hello. Uh, but yeah, it blew my mind, especially when they played this song. It was so incredible. And to this day, it just gives me chills uh, what the message is talking about. Uh, it's really, you know, it doesn't matter what you believe in. It's it's all about uh, love and empathy and uh, just, again, the music, I can't say enough. There's like influence of Greek music, flamenco guitar, uh, the singer songwriters of, you know, Simon and Garfunkel thrown in there. There's a little bit of everything to love about Burlap to Cashmere. If you've not heard of them, please do yourself a favor and check them out especially this song. And uh, that's what we're all about here at Johnny Radio, guys, discovering and rediscovering great music. So let me know in the comments below what you think of my list. That's my top five. Uh, and if you're so bold, leave me a top five or even a top 10. There were so many great songs in that year, so many great albums. We'll be doing the top five albums of 98 two weeks from now. So be sure to stay tuned. And guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, big countdowns, and so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.